belief systems like radical Islam doesn't mean that you hate Muslims. Just because you criticize radical feminism, which the vast majority of women don't even embrace, doesn't mean that you hate women. Now, let's take a, go ahead. I'm sorry. Let me, I was just going to say, let me just take a, take a very simple example. Uh, there is a prayer in Judaism that says something to the effect of, you know, thank you, God, for not making me a woman. Uh, now, if I say, uh, you know, I think that that particular prayer is abhorrent, it's, it's misogynistic. I am making a specific statement about that particular tenet. It doesn't mean that I am anti-Jewish or anti-Semitic. Same idea with Islam. I could look at a particular tenet and criticize it without in no way implying any hatred or bigotry to people who are adherents of that religion. Okay, just finishing up, I wanted to give you basically an open platform for a couple of minutes. Evolutionary consumption, you founded this field of study. Explain so, to the listeners what this is and what it tells us about human behavior. So basically, contrary to most consumer psychologists, all consumer psychologists until I came along, which basically looked at consumer behavior as something that's learned, right? We are socialized to become consumers. We learn it from advertising, we learn it from movies, we learn it from our parents, from our peers. I came along and said, well, of course the environment matters. Yes, part of what makes us consumers is our unique environments, but there must be some indelible features of our evolutionary history that manifests itself when we, put, when we put on our consumer hats. And so the work that I do looks at these biological underpinnings. So let me just give you a tangible example in case some of your viewers might not know what I'm talking about. So I did a study where I looked at how, how do women alter their beautification practices? How do they dress? Do they dress more sexily or less? Do they wear makeup or not? And I looked at that as a function of where they were in their menstrual cycle. Specifically, I argued that it, at the point of their menstrual cycle where they are in the ovulatory phase, in the fertile phase, this is where they would want to advertise themselves in the mating market, right? And therefore, we did a study, this was with one of my former doctoral students, where we tracked women's behavior for 35 contiguous days, because 35 days covers the length of most menstrual cycles. And we exactly found that when women are maximally fertile, they signal, right? To go back to the signaling question that we were talking about earlier. Well, that particular research question would have never been within the purview of a consumer psychologist who, who, who didn't recognize that consumers are biological beings that are shaped by these evolutionary forces. So what I try to do basically is marry biology and evolutionary theory in the context of consumer behavior. And some of your videos on this have been really fascinating. Again, just in closing, Tell people how they can find your YouTube channel, your Twitter, and some of your books. Right. So uh, my books, if you go to Amazon, all my books are listed. There's The Consuming Instinct, The Evolutionary Basis of Consumption, Evolutionary Psychology, and The Business Sciences. I hope you check them out. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, so slash, uh, I don't remember the exact uh, thing, but, but if you do Gad Sad, you'll find me. Uh, I, each of my vid videos is called the sad truth and whatever the number is of that video. I cover all sorts of things, evolutionary psychology, consumer behavior, politics, uh, the thought police, religion. And then, of course, they could follow me on Twitter at Gad, G-A-D-S-A-A-D, -A -A or they could go to my public Facebook page, uh, doctor period, Gad period, sad. So different ways for us to connect. I hope you check out my work. And you can see some of those accounts up on screen just a moment ago. It's been fascinating. Gad Sad, we'll be sure to check in with you again. Thanks for joining us today on The Alex Jones Show. Thank you so much for having me, Paul. Talk to you soon. Thank you. There goes Cheers. Gad Sad again, youtube.com forward slash Gad Sad.